Hasidic Gems on Parshas Achrimois. It says in the Torah that Aaron Akain was told by Yom Hashem al Moshe, Va'al Yovei, Daber, Daber el Aaron Achiche, tell your brother Aaron, Va'al Yovei b'chol Eitz al HaKodesh, he should not come at all times into the Holy of Holies. The Rebbein Shalom's Shechina was there, always, and he should be, be careful not to get into the habit of entering, not, not to come there. Only on Yom Kippur. Only on Yom Kippur. Val Yovei B'cholei Salakodesh should not come at all times to the sanctuary. Only Yom Kippur. That's the simple. The Hasidic Torah are telling us like this. The Torah is saying, speaking to tzaddikim and holy people, that they shouldn't come always. They shouldn't be always sitting and learning and forgetting about everybody else. But they have to al yovei b'cholei Not at all. Not every second should be. Should be um, should be in the sanctuary, but you got to go out into the world and to care about the needs and worry about the needs of the people and see what you can do to help them. Continuing with Hasidic gems on Parshas Achrei Mois, the pasuk says, "The chiper al hakodesh, he shall make the koyin." Aaron Akayan should make atonement atonement be Tumais Bene Yisrael Umi Pishayam. And Rashi explains this to mean uh, for those that entered the sanctuary while unclean and also for those that entered the sanctuary uh, intentionally. People that went into the Kodesh either unintentionally or intentionally, Aaron Akayin should, should make atonement for them. They should be forgiven. That's the simple. The Hasidic Torah are telling us, you know, it's not only for Averis that you need Kapora. Even for mitzvahs, even for, for good things that you do, at times you need forgiveness. When there's, for instance, when you, when you, when you have, when you do it, when you do good things because of ulterior motors, motives, or if you want to get, if you're doing it for kavod, you're doing it for, for, for wrong things, even in the holy things, you're doing, you're not doing it right. So that needs kapora. V'chiper al hakodesh. The holy things, the good things that you're doing, need kapora. Me need forgiveness because perhaps you meant yourself, you meant covered, etc., etc. Continuing with Hasidic gems on Parshas Achrei Mois, the pasuk says, "V'amishaleach es hasoyer laAzozel," the one that sent the goat to Azozel. Yechabe is begodov, should wash his clothes. Verochat says besorei bamoyim, he should bathe his flesh in water. He should go to the mikveh. Vachrei chein yovoi el hamachna. After that, he could come into the camp. That's the secret. The Hasidic should tell us that the Hasidic When can you give to Yechocha? When can you rebuke somebody? First, you got to cleanse yourself. You got to rebuke yourself. And after he conducts himself properly, behaves properly, he he, he washes his flesh in water, meaning he he clears himself. He 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 clears himself from from doing the wrong things. Then, then he could come. And rebuke others. First, rebuke yourself, cleanse yourself, then you're allowed to go rebuke others. Continuing with Hasidic gems on Parshas Achrei Mois, 
The Pasuk says, <clears throat> Nobody shall be in the Ohel Mayed, the tent of meeting, when the Kayan goes in, the Chapir Bakaydish, to make attainment. Until he goes out, I'd say so. Nobody, nobody else should be in that room. That's the simple. The Chathinah Shetayelach are telling us that when the Koyin Godel enters the Kodesh Kodoshim, v'chol odam lo yiyya, he must shake himself out of being a, 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 an odam, an oichi. He should remove the entire zich, his entire essence. He is non-existent. He should remove the anoichi from himself. He should be totally humble. No sign of any arrogance of any sort. He should not be a mensch. He should not be a, a zich, a himself. He should be a nobody. He should be totally humble when he does the Avreda on Yom Kippur. Continuing with Hasidic gems, on Parshas Achrei Mois, the Torah says that Shabbos, Shabbos, and Hilochem, Yom Kippur is a Shabbos of Shabbos, of Shabbosim. The Inisem es Nafshe Sechem, you should afflict your souls. You should afflict your souls. We don't eat, we don't drink on Yom Kippur. We should afflict your souls. Inisem means to afflict. That's the simple. The Hasidish Torah are telling us V'inisa means you should answer. You have to answer to your soul. You have a holy soul in your body and you want to sin and the soul is saying to you what are you doing? Why are you sinning? Is that what Hashem wants you to do? And you're going to have to inisa you're going to have to answer your soul. If you do the wrong things, you're going to have to answer your soul and defend yourself. But inisa means you have to answer to your soul's questions. So sikum, we have a little sikum on everything we were, all the hashkafas that we were learning. And the sikum is as follows. We learned that, um, that even good things that we do and holy things that we do if we dive in, we may need kapora for that too. We may, we, may, we may need forgiveness for that. If we are biased and do the good things that we do, we do chesed. Oh, I want everybody to say, I'm such a good, kind person. I dive in, oh, look how I shake. Look how, look how religious I am. Look how firm I am. We're doing it really for ourselves. Sometimes the good things that we do need Kapora, Vachiper ala Kodesh, it needs Kapora because we're doing it totally biased and we mean partially at least, we mean ourselves. We want to get honor and glory out of it. We should be Zecha to be careful from the Kodesh that we do. Not only sins do we have to be careful of, we have to be careful of mitzvahs and good things that we do, that it should be totally the Shem Shemayim. We also learned. That, not, not in the right order this time, it says, it says a person cannot, go come, cannot dedicate himself 24 hours only to sit and learn Torah, even to sit and learn Torah for his own personal growth. But he has to devote time to go out and help others. Learn with others, teach others, care for others, worry for others. You have to have others in mind. I just saw, I just saw, um, um, I just saw um, a story about the the, the Rosh Hashiva, Reb Nosson Tzvi Finkel, Zechut Zadikal Vracha, was just nifta, and somebody asked him, somebody asked him, what should I have kavona by Tekiya Shoifa, by blowing the Shoifa? What should I have kavona? What should I think about? And he said, others. 
You have to think about others. That's the greatest thing you could accomplish when you think about trying to help others. We also learned that before you rebuke somebody else, you got to rebuke yourself. You got to clean yourself out, cleanse yourself out, because then you'll know that you're really doing it to Shem Shemayim, that you're really trying to rebuke somebody because you want to help him, not because you have a chance to beat him down and step on him. But if you cleanse yourself first, then, then, then you're you're fit to to go rebuke others and help others change. We also learned that <laughs> that when a person serves Hashem, he should be totally selfless. He shouldn't be a mensch. Chol odam lo He shouldn't be, he's, he's nothing, he's not even a mensch. He's not even, he's not even a person. And that's the way to, to, to daven to Hashem. No arrogance whatsoever. No arrogance. I'm, I'm zero. Chol odam lo That's the way the Hasid Shaturlach uh, interpret the Pasuk. Okay, we had, we had one more that uh, that Yom Kippur is not only a time that you have to afflict your soul. V'yinisem means afflict. But according to the Hasidic Shetorlach, V'yinisem means like always, we must answer. We're going we're gonna to have to answer to our souls. We have a holy soul within us. And, and we want to do sins, we want to do a sin. And the Holy Soul is saying to us, you're going to have to give a din v'cheshbon, you're going to have to answer, you're going to have to um, defend yourself for, for, for the sins that you're about to do or you did. So this is something that we should see to do, to be able to not to do any sin so we don't have to answer to our nefesh, to our soul who's questioning us about this. We should be zeichah to all these wonderful hashkafas. Amen v'yamein.